Welcome to IG. I'm Hebe Mark Analyst for IG. Let's have a check what are the key highlights and economy data for the final week of September. Let's start with a recap of the key highlights for the past week. In last week's September FOMC meeting, the U.S. central bank kept its interest rate unchanged while also maintaining its 2023 interest rate target, suggesting that one more rate hike before the end of the year is almost certain. In China, the People's Bank of China PBOC kept the one- and five-year mortgage prime rate called LPR unchanged last Wednesday, matching market expectations. In the UK, the Bank of England kept its policy interest rate at 5.25%, which was the first pause in nearly two years, as policymakers chose a wait-and-see approach following the latest inflation data showing that the inflation in US was lower than anticipated at 6.7% in August. Another central bank that kept its interest rate unchanged last week was the Bank of Japan. The Japanese central bank maintained its key short-term interest rate at negative 0.1%. The annual inflation rate in Japan eased slightly to 3.2% in August, which is the lowest level in three months. Now let's move on to the week ahead starting from the 25th of September. On Monday, the major focus in the APAC region will focus on Singapore's August inflation data. On Tuesday, the United States is expected to report House Price Index and Consumer Confidence Index. In the midweek on Wednesday, China will publish its industrial profits for August and Australia will publish its the monthly CPI indicator. Moving on to Thursday, the key highlight for Thursday will be the Q2 GDP final figure coming from the United States and Australia will publish its retail sales data. Friday will be the busiest day of the week with publications including the US Personal Consumption Expenditure Price Index, the PCE, the Personal Income Index and the Eurozone will publish its inflation data for September. Also under the spotlight is Japan's unemployment rate and year-over-year retail sales figures. Moving on to the weekend, the major focus for the weekend will be China's two separate package of the Purchasing Manager Index, including Saturday, the China's MBS Manufacturing and Service PMI. On Sunday, China will publish its Chinese Manufacturing and Service PMI. It's an anticipation that both sectors are expected to show some signs of improvement and expansion in September. Thank you for watching. I'll see you next time.